our tutorial capital asset pricing model. Asset pricing models consist of estimating asset expected return through its risk premium linear relationship with factors portfolios expected risk premiums and macroeconomic factors. This topic is part of investment portfolio analysis with our course. Feel free to take a look at course curriculum by clicking the link at the description box below. This tutorial has an educational and informational purpose and doesn't constitute any type of trading or investment advice. Please read full tutorial disclaimer at the end of the video. An example of asset pricing model is the Capital Asset Pricing Model or CAPM which consists of estimating asset expected return through its risk premium linear relationship with market expected risk premium. For full reference, I recommend that you read Jack Trainer, William Sharp, John Lindner, Jan Mosing, Craig French, The Trainer Capital Asset Pricing Model, published in the Journal of Investment Management in 2003. As a formula, the expected asset return is equal to a risk-free rate of return plus the asset beta, which corresponds to the linear relationship between asset and market risk premiums, multiplied by the expected market return minus the risk-free rate of return. Beta coefficient consists of estimating asset market systematic risk through the linear relationship between asset and market risk premiums. As a formula, asset beta is equal to, within the numerator, we have the covariance between asset and market risk premiums, which are then divided by the variance of the market risk premium. Jensen's alpha consists of estimating asset expected excess return through the difference between asset expected return and its theoretically estimated expected return. For full reference, I recommend that you read Michael Jensen, The Performance of Mutual Funds in the Peter from 1945 to 1964, published in the Journal of Finance in 1968. As a formula, assets alpha is equal to the expected asset return minus the theoretically estimated expected return through the capital asset pricing model. Great, so let's go into our studio so that we can study capital asset pricing model with greater detail. Excellent, so here we are within the R studio. The first step within the tutorial is to load the package. This is done with this library command and within it the package name, which for this tutorial we'll be using performance analytics. So we select that code line there, we click run or control enter on the keyboard, which is equivalent. So once we've loaded a package for the tutorial, the next step is we are going to create our data variable. Its name is going to be returns and it's going to be equal to read.csv. The name to that data file, which is CAPM, single factor model data.txt. So this is a plain text file with .csv or comma separated values, which is being stored within the working directory. Header equals to true. So again, we select the code line and then we click run. So this creates the returns variable within the global environment as a data frame. So by clicking on the spreadsheet kind of icon, it opens the data variable for us. This data variable has three columns, date, spy.rf, and mkt. Dot rf. So dates are in a monthly frequency from the beginning of 2007 all the way to the end of 2016, therefore 10 years of data and 120 observations for each time series. Then we have as the corresponding asset, SPY, which is the ETF investment vehicle, which intends to replicate the Standard & Poor's 500 index. So this column corresponds to its risk premium, which is the difference between its arithmetic monthly returns minus the risk-free rate of return in the corresponding month. And then we have the market risk premium, which is the difference between the market portfolio's arithmetic monthly returns minus, again, that risk-free rate of return in that corresponding month. 
So going back into the code file, the next step is we are going to convert that data frame into an XTS. XTS stands for Extensible Time Series. So again, we have return, so we're going to overwrite the previously created data frame, and we do so with the XTS function, and from the previously created returns data frame, we're going to select columns 2 and 3, and we're going to order by equals as date, so we're going to convert into as date returns the first column. So we select that code line there, click run or control enter on the keyboard, and that created an XTS type of object. And by going back into that data file here, we can see that the index became dates, and then we have the asset and market risk premiums. So going back into the code file here, the next step is we are going to calculate the capital asset pricing model. Notice that we'll be doing so first with a linear regression calculation, then with the corresponding formulas included within performance analytics package, and also with the one mentioned within the slides. So the first step here is we're doing it with a linear regression. So we have summary of LM, LM stands for linear model, and then first we have the dependent or explained variable, which is from returns with that dollar sign, we're going to get SPY.RF or the asset risk premium, which is explained by, and then we're going to have that independent or explanatory variable, which is from returns with a dollar sign, we're going to get that market risk premium. So we select that code line there, click run or control enter on the keyboard, and that print the corresponding result for the linear model. So by scrolling up, we see here the corresponding formula for this linear regression, and below we have the estimation of coefficients. So here the intercept corresponds to Jensen's alpha and the next coefficient corresponds to the market beta. So as mentioned within the slides, Jensen's alpha is the expected excess return, this is with a monthly frequency, on top of the exposure to that corresponding market risk premium. And this corresponds to the market beta estimation. So once we do this calculation with the linear model, then we're also going to do it with the associated formulas and functions from the previously mentioned package. So we have here CAPM.beta, and then within it we have RA, which is the asset returns, and in this case again we are going to select from returns variable with the dollar sign SPY.RF or that asset risk premium, and as RB, which is that benchmark, we're going to have also from returns with the dollar sign, we're going to get the market risk premium. Notice here that we don't need to include a risk free rate of return because both of these calculations are already risk premiums. So we're going to select that code line there, click run or control enter on the keyboard, and notice that the CAPM beta its corresponding estimation as a measure of systematic risk, we can see that the calculation delivered the same result as the one done with that linear regression. And the last calculation for this corresponding beta is going to be done with the specific formula shown within the slides, which is the covariance, and here we have first the asset risk premium with the market risk premium, divided by the variance of the corresponding market risk premium. Notice that this calculation of the beta only applies to a corresponding model with one independent or explanatory variable, which is this case for the capital asset pricing model. So we select that code line there and then click run or control enter on the keyboard and we see the estimation also the same as the one we saw above, with a specific formula for performance analytics and also the same estimation as the coefficient from that linear regression. And last we're going to do the calculation of the capital asset pricing model Jensen's alpha which is done with this CAPM.alpha and the parameters of the model are the same as the ones we use with the beta which are the asset returns as the corresponding asset risk premium and the benchmark returns as the market risk premium. Again, we don't need to include a risk free rate of return because as mentioned previously, the corresponding asset are already 
those returns as a risk premium as we've already subtracted the risk-free rate of return. So we are going to select that code line there and then click run or control enter on the keyboard and notice that this capital asset pricing model alpha estimation here by comparing it by scrolling up it's the same value as the intercept from that linear regression. Excellent. So let's go back into the slides. And as mentioned previously, this tutorial has an educational and informational purpose and doesn't constitute any type of trading or investment advice. Please pause the video now so you can read the full tutorial disclaimer. OK. So with this, we finished this tutorial. Thank you for watching.